Bye bye. No C's. Keep that A in PE. Bring back my jacket, bruh. You got that uh, folder in your book sack? Alright. Alright. Have a good day. Where's this some use? Sky look crazy, right? I haven't pulled out this camera in so long. I know. I used to hold this heavy mother. <laughs> I used to hold this one. This heavy ass motherfucker. Nah, I don't even feel right looking into this lens anymore. But yeah, 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 yeah. I just dusted off the camera to take a couple of morning pictures. But by the time I got the memory card to work, the scenery that I wanted was gone. I got to watch football in peace this weekend. No eagles, drama, dramatics, losses, none of that. Just watch football, enjoy it, fall asleep on it, wake up, fall asleep, wake up. <laughs> you know how old people do, you know how, how, how us old folks do at this point. Get too comfortable, I'm taking a nap. I don't care how good the game is. Back from the, the horror movie weekend, chilling with my daughter, watching horror movies. Uh, the only one that I could recommend, if I would recommend it, besides like the usual, The Conjuring, which was boring, I fell asleep on it. My daughter was bored with it, The Conjuring too. She wasn't with that, but there's someone inside your house. It's a Netflix horror movie. It's fairly new. It's kind of like I Know What You Did Last Summer meets Scream. High school... People got secrets. There's a killer who know all the secrets. And now instead of, like, I know what you did last summer, now he's just sending it to everyone's cell phone. It's a good watch, though. I enjoyed it. A nice balance with enough action and horror with a short storytelling. They didn't make the movie very long. You kind of pick up on what's going on pretty quickly. I know me and my daughter enjoyed that one. Out of the whole weekend, out of all the horror movies that I watch, that was the most entertaining. Especially if we're talking new horror movies, that was the most entertaining. I also watch The Guilty. That's another one that's on Netflix. If you like sp suspenseful thrillers with a nice twist at the end, The Guilty is, is short. It's to the point. But the twist at the end is so fire, you're going to love it. You, if you like suspense and thrillers, The Guilty, I highly recommend that. That shit is fire. Another one I had watched was uh, Midnight Mass. That's kind of on the horror, suspense, thriller side. Um, It plays into religion, angels, demons, devils. If you're a, a Christian... This might be something you want to stay away from. It plays with the Christianity and the idea of Christianity heavily. A lot of blasphemous, a lot of blasphemous moments. If you're not a Christian, then you know you can deal with controversial topics and controversial content. Midnight Mass. It's a short series. I want to say like eight episodes. Good to watch in a weekend. I would recommend that if you're into the suspense and thriller with a little horror, Midnight Mass is it's pretty dope. Hellfest. I think that's what it's called. Let me look. Let me make sure. Yes. Hellfest. <laughs> I watched that with my daughter. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> it's... Well, unless you want to... If you want to watch something that's going to make you laugh because it's so bad... Hellfest is, is the horror movie to watch. My least favorite that I watched this weekend. Very the least favorite. And last but not least, You. Season 3 came out. Season 3 continues on. Joe is in a, in a relationship with somebody who is just as... Well, he's not in a relationship. He's married to someone that's just as psychotic as him who has a child for him but Joe as Joe normally does 
attention goes into another direction and once the attention goes into the other direction the woman gets to a killing then he kills for another woman if you watch season one and two of you you should enjoy season three you should enjoy it i don't see why you wouldn't it continues on with the consistency of the dramatics the twisted sense of humor and the action the the horror parts you know with the horror with the killings the killings are pretty uh, pretty disgusting this season too so you know it continues on just as nasty but entertaining to say the least entertaining to say the least that is what i watched this weekend i'm gonna try to keep up with it more try to drop more content on the channel i'm out